welcome to Faces of Easter 6. And if you've seen some of these other modules, you'll know where we're going, going through the timeline of Jesus's life. I'll just briefly go through the pre previous five, and then we'll do number six. So I'm going to unroll this, and we'll go through. So these are the different stages of Jesus's life. The first is the face of Easter 1, and here's Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. So Jesus was born. Faces of Easter 2. Jesus is probably around your age, and he gets lost, and his parents, Mary and Joseph, cannot find him. Then they find him in the temple, and he says, didn't you know I would be in my father's house? So Jesus is visiting the temple. On the third faces of Easter, Jesus is baptized by his cousin, John, and a voice is heard from heaven that says, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. The fourth face of Easter is when Jesus is tempted in the desert. He's there 40 days and 40 nights. The fifth face of Easter is when Jesus tells parables and is a healer. So we learn a lot of lessons in the Bible from this face. And then the sixth face of Easter that we're going to talk about today is when Jesus offers bread and wine. So what happened was, this is after Jesus has been baptized, so he's in his early 30s, and he goes to the city of Jerusalem. And when he arrives, people thought, oh, he's coming as a king, but they didn't understand what was happening. He actually came in, you know, you'd think a king would arrive maybe on a big white horse or on one of those chairs that has the long poles and everyone's all fancy. No, no, no. Jesus came in on a donkey and he didn't even own this donkey. He had to borrow this donkey. And when he arrived, some of the people came with palm leaves and they put that down on the ground and they waved them at him. And when he arrived, and that's a sign that they're greeting a king. So some people were confused that he was going to make himself the king, but that's not what happened, is it? Well, so when Jesus came... He, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of that week, he went to the temple, and he visited with people in the temple. And then at night, he went to the Mount of Olives. And some people that saw that happened wondered because they, they thought that when he went to the Mount of Olives, that angels would come, and those angels would drive away the Roman soldiers. But each day, Jesus would go to the temple to preach. And one day, he went there, and they talked about people giving money. And so... An, older lady came and she put money in the money box and when she brought the money she only had one little tiny coin and she dropped it in the box it just made a little tiny plink little quiet noise so then another man came a rich man came and he had so much money and all these bags he had to have helpers drag in all these bags with him and he put all that money in that money box clang 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 all this money going in toppling on top of each other making all this noise right filled up the box and so then jesus asked the people in the temple who do you think gave more money? Did the old woman or did the rich man? And so some people said, oh, it was the rich man. He put in all those coins. But then some people thought about it and said, I think it was the old lady who gave just that one coin, the only coin she had. Well, then after those days, uh, on that Wednesday, some of the guards in the temple were talking and they said, on Thursday, we will take him. And they were talking about Jesus. But they went to look for him on Thursday, and they couldn't find Jesus. He and the twelve had gone down darkened streets and went into the city and went into a house and went to the upper rooms of the house. And there they shared, shared a meal. And after they had had their meal, then Jesus took out bread. And he broke the bread, gave it to the twelve, and said, Take this and eat it, and whenever you share this, I will be there. And then Jesus took out some wine. And again, he thanked God for the wine, and then he shared it with the 12. And then he said, whenever you drink this, I will be there. And so that is the Last Supper. And I think you've got some wondering questions you can go over with your family. So thanks so much. Happy Easter.